Breaking news. As Tinubu is asked to produce his certificate, he replies that his certificate were looted Why in exile. Tinubu explains. So this is the big issue. We know that um, they've clarified the one of him. Um, you know, uh, the one, the school he schooled in the U.S., indeed, when questions were asked to the school, they said, indeed, Tinubu attended their university. And they gave the time from when to when. He did really attend it. But apart from that, other certificates have been asked of Ashiwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Where are these certificates you claim you've acquired and you've achieved from this time to this time? Because um, certificate production producing your certificate is part and parcel of your uh, credibility you know by INEC and Tinubu said while he was in exile the certificate they, I mean they got missing I mean they got missing they got missing yes please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details my certificates were looted why in exile Tinubu explained Ashiwadu Ahmed Bola Tinubu the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC has told the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, that the certificate were looted by unknown person while he was on self-exile, according to the report by New Telegraph. Tinubu, is, Tinubu in his sworn affidavit in support of his nomination form, said he went on self-exile from October 1994 to October 1999 and when I returned I discovered that my properties including all the documents relating to my qualifications and my certificates in respect of paragraph 3 above were looted by a known person. Up to date I've not been able to locate them or find out what happened. I was away from a lot for a long time 1994 to 1999 even if the person that took them could have been dead or anything could have happened so i don't have them with me the candidate skipped information regarding his primary and secondary education but said he attended the university of chicago between 1972 and 1976 where he obtained a bsc in economics he also said he had BSc in Business and Administration, as well as Certificate in Public Account. The presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, presented the master's degree he obtained in 2021 as his higher educational qualification. Talks are still on with regards to what will happen to Ashiwaja Mepola Tinubu's certificate which is said has been looted but again a sworn affidavit by his lawyer has affirmed that if someone's certificate were missing due to theft accidents and orders it could also be accepted so my people this is where we are at ashiwaja medbola tinubu has made it known that indeed his certificates are missing yeah okay they are missing there's nothing he can do about it he was on self-exile. The reason for that, I cannot tell you. But he decided to go on exile. And by the time he returned, yeah, he says that his properties were missing, including, you know, his certificate. There's nothing he could have done about it that um, it is what it is. Well, my wonderful people, this is it. Shiwaja Mebola Tinubu has told Einek that, you know, he's missing. But remember very well when the issue of a certificate was coming up again and again, we brought you up to speed that the, uh, the University of Chicago, I mean, university he attended in Chicago, you know, questions were asked to the university and they said yes, that he was indeed their student between the time he confirmed. Okay, he said indeed he was their student. Well, that's what, I mean, so with that, that is said, that is difficult to looted. He could not produce the primary and secondary, you know, um, certificates on those things, on, you know, on what he has attended and what he did. You know, he could not produce those ones because according to him, they are missing. 
Well, it is what it is because INEC will have to, you know, certify and check those documents and ensure that they are up to date. Don't forget that since after Buhari, who did not quite have a certificate because all he had was that somebody came to say, yes, he did Waiek. That's your president. You can see the effect of him not having, you know, proper documentation. Because when you go to school, you think you are just going there and you're just sitting in a class and somebody is just talking at you. No, you are being informed. You are, you are being reorientated. You are being conformed to the patterns of the world, how things work, what is going on right now. Those are some of the things that your mind is being exposed to. Your mind is being broadened. You know, you are being put in check and you, you know, you're beginning to see things in a different light and perspective. That's what happened when you go to school. Before Shiwaja met Bola Tinobo, unfortunately, his document got missing. And there's nothing he can do about it. So it is. Well, my wonderful people, the days are upon us. And then um, where, where we must choose credible leaders, people who can speak English, people who are visionary, people who can attract foreign investors. Now, the unemployment rate we're all talking about will not jump away. With just government jobs. We need private employers. For instance, MTN is not owned by the federal government. Uh, Glue is not owned by the federal government. You can classify those, you know, the banking industries, UBA, uh, FMB, and the rest of them is not owned by the federal government. So you can classify those jobs as private investors, for instance. So take, for instance, a company comes from Germany, UK, America, and they establish a particular brand of product. Let's say they are making phones. They are coupling cars in Nigeria. Those are not government jobs. Uh, those are not government jobs. People will apply. People will work in the factory. People will work in the computer room. People will work in the creativity department. That is employment. So we need people who could potentially drive this foreign investment so that our youth can be gainfully employed. For goodness sake, the government cannot employ 20% of the population, even if the government jobs are there and ghost workers are not taking the place, that human being, real human being should be working. It doesn't just happen. Do you understand? Exactly. So we need ready-minded people with intent and intention to bring Nigeria to the desired position. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.